Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be checking out the new Periphery track, Garden in the Bones. Now before you all go, Nick, where is the guitar cover? Well, you know I covered Blood Eagle, and I'm glad I covered that song. It was ridiculously hard to cover. Um, it really pushed me beyond my limits as a guitarist, and it made me a better guitarist. So that's why I like doing things like that once in a while. Uh, because that also comes with, you know, it took me three to four days straight. You know, that's a lot of dedication to get something done in a lot of time. And it also, like, gave my fingers literally bruises. Um, so I'm just not really wanting to do that right now. When they release different songs in the future, maybe, you know, when more time has passed. But as of right now, I'm not down to go through that again. I don't know if this song's as technical. Um, but it's periphery, so what else would you expect, right? Uh, anyways, I've talked enough. Let's get right into it. Oh, fuck, okay. Getting right into it. Oh, I like that melody in the background. Jazzy. Okay. Definitely different than Blood Eagle so far. Reminds me a little of uh, that Juggernaut vibe. You know, very kind of abstract, happy, ambient. Ooh. Oh, Spencer, man, you beautiful, beautiful person. Oh, I love the drum work. Little fills here and there. Very cool chord choices as well. Ooh, that's nice. Not necessarily what I was expecting. A um, lot more chill than Blood Eagle, that's for sure. The sick riff, man. Kind of simple, but it's catchy and it does the job. All right, back to the chorus, I guess. Really cool chord progressions they're throwing in there. Oh yeah, this takes me back to the Juggernaut days, man. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. They're popping off. There's that Blood Eagle heaviness. Yeah. Okay. What's gonna happen? Chorus or heavy? Okay, something chill. Okay. I was hoping it got even heavier at that point, you know, to kind of go full circle, but that's fine. I like the little electro electronic um, noises. I don't know what we call them in the background. Ambient tones, man. The melodies. Ah, periphery. I love it, man. Ooh, we're getting dark as fuck. Okay. Oh, changing it up. Throwing in some uh, harmonic major, I think, in there. It's nice, man. Keeps it exciting. Okay. Man, those chords and those voicings are so sick. Spencer Man's killing it. Oh, 
Okay. Got the chorus, I believe. Oh no, something different. Bridge? I feel like a solo or something needs to be over this. It's a very nice chord progression for a solo. Ooh. Oh, damn. That's juicy. Oh man, I'm feeling that shit right now. Yeah, I'm not covering this, by the way. Fuck that. But this is nice. I think this is a chorus. This is a kind of an alternative version of it. Matt's going ham on the drums, man. Let's see, are they going to end this heavy? Or are they going to do a chill? We'll go either way. Oh, yeah. Back to the heavy riff. Glad they did that. Ooh. Oh, there you go. There's that full circle heaviness I was wanting earlier. it there we go that was periphery gardens in the bones or garden in the bones um damn that was unexpected so right off the bat juggernaut vibes right it has that kind of more chill laid back feel and that's great you know because blood eagle was so aggressive so heavy so in your face um you know that I'm not surprised they want to cover kind of the other side of their discography, which is more melodic, is more chill, has those groovy riffs, and has a lot more um, ambience in it, right? So I'm glad they did this. I thought, you know, it was a smart second sing single to um, throw out there, and it fits really nicely. And it still has those Blood Eagle vibes, you know, with the heavy parts and kind of the slight diminished parts, some here and there, some harmonic major stuff, which is really sick. Um, so yeah, great choice and it really does blend well right after Blood Eagle because you need something chill after that brutal kind of heaviness. Um, so let's get into each part kind of separately. So guitar work, man, fuck, it's beyond me. You know what I mean? Like always on point, you know, I've been listening to this band for a long time and they never have failed to impress me with their guitar work. It's just always crazy. But it always has that melodic feel. You know, it has it has purpose. It's not just technical for being technical, which a lot of bands are doing nowadays. It's technical with a purpose that brings feel and just mmm with it. Uh, you know, the rhythm guitars were dope. I love all the riffs they were throwing in there. The solo was perfect fit, not too over the top, but just fit mm, right in there. It was a little chill, but yeah, really nice. All the ambient melodies with the guitar work were also just beautiful. It made you feel like kind of you were in a soundscape instead of just, you know, this one dimensional, just here's some riffs, here's drums, here's a guitar, and um, here's a vocalist, I mean, which is, again, what a lot of bands are doing nowadays. They created a soundscape to really make you feel immersed uh, in the song. So that was, that was absolutely perfect guitar work-wise. Um, Drum-wise, Matt killed it, man. He always kills it. Same thing, you know. They vibe off each other so well that I don't even think they have to discuss what they plan on doing before they do it. You know, they probably just go in the studio and they're like, okay, I heard that. I'm just going to do my thing. And then somehow they make it match perfectly because they have that synergy with each other. So guitar work, really nice. Bass, uh, if I'm correct, I believe Misha made all the bass and then Nolly retracted or something like that. Regardless, bass was really nice. I could hear it clearly. It added a nice oomph to everything. So amazing job on, you know, Misha and Nolly, if they both uh, did that. Um, and um, vocals, man. Spencer bringing it, as always. He didn't have as much um, unique range. Or let me rephrase that. He didn't have any as, as many surprises as he did in Blood Eagle. You know, Blood Eagle, he went 
off. He had the crazy highs, the crazy lows, um, some nice clean singing, some pitch screaming. So he had everything in that. It really showcased. This one was a little bit, you know, more held back, which is understandable because I don't think the instrumental, you know, really required the crazy, you know, screams in terms of highs or lows, even during the heavy part. Um, so yeah, you know, it was a little more toned down, but he did the song justice, which is what's important, right? It's not always about showing off what you can do. Sometimes you just gotta do what you can do to make the song kind of the priority and make it sound really good. So Spencer, amazing job. Song overall, you know, structure wise, I think it was really well done. You know, it's a progressive band who, you know, include things like choruses and they repeat stuff in unique ways, which is great. You know, it always keeps it refreshing. Um, the only thing that got me a little off guard was during the middle of the song, they had that kind of breakdown where it, it was a nice surprise. I was like, whoa, what's happening here? But they transitioned into it really well. And then I was hoping for a little more for it to go full circle. And then it kind of got chill. So that was like weird at the moment. But then when I got to the end of the song, holy shit, this is a six minute song, by the way. When I got to the end of the song, um, they repeated that part and then they went full circle. So I understand what they were thinking. And it did make sense at the end. It just did catch me a little off guard halfway through the song is all. But, um, you know, structurally, it flowed super well, and it just felt good. It was a good song. All the emotions felt right that they were trying to kind of get you to feel. And, yeah, I didn't even know it was a six-minute song. I guess that's that makes it an even better song because it really gets you immersed. You don't even notice the time is going by. It felt like a four-minute song almost. You know, it felt like a good amount of time. So I'm surprised it was six minutes, actually. But, um, yeah, so overall, really good song. Video-wise, you know, there there isn't a video. Maybe they'll release a video. But um, the picture fits really well. I, I don't know why. And yeah, again, for a second single, I think this was a perfect choice. It really blended well with everything, uh, with Blood Eagle and whatnot. And it showcases their discography. You know, they have multiple different styles. And these two songs, to be honest, really showcased all of it. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to hear it. This was a dope song. <laughs> Uh, great job on them, Jesus. Do I like it more than Blood Eagle? I'm not sure. Uh, I just really liked Blood Eagle, and you know it had that heaviness I've been I've been wanting from them. So that's the only reason maybe I'd lean more on that side. But this song is a really strong contender, definitely single worthy, and um, yeah, it's just it's just an amazing song overall. So awesome job, guys. I'd probably rate this four and a half nicks out of five, straight up. The only reason why maybe not a little more is that because it was it was progressive, but it had it, you know, they repeated stuff. Um, it's hard for me to remember absolutely everything in that song because a lot of the riffs, even though they were different, um, were building off the same thing, which isn't bad, but there wasn't maybe what's the right word? It had variety, but it's just hard to differentiate, like, what's this part? What's this part, I guess, is my point. Um, and, you know, you know, it's a six-minute song for just a kind of regular listener on Spotify. That might, be, that might make it so they're not having the song completely on repeat nonstop because it's not maybe as memorable. Um, but it's still a really well-composed song, and it's a great first listen no matter what. And I will be repeating it definitely for some time, but I just don't think I'll be repeating it as much as some of their other stuff, which is more repeatable as kind of I'd mentioned. So yeah, there you go, guys. That was Periphery Garden the Bones. Hope you liked that video. I don't think I'll do a cover of it because I can hear the guitar work. That's crazy shit. Even if it's kind of sounds simple on the surface, it's not. There's a lot of complexity that goes into that. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you like this and uh, I'll be checking out more from their album. Hopefully, I'll be able to cover some of it, but if not, then I'll, I'll just keep checking out through reactions. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, comment what you thought about the song. You know, I'd love to hear what you thought. And um, yeah, go show the guys some love because I think this is going to be one of their biggest albums yet. And that's saying a lot because I'm, I'm one of those guys who love Periphery too, kind of more than anything else. But um, I don't know. This one's winning me over so far. But yeah, guys, hope you like that video and I'll see you next time.